The second prison sentence has been handed down in the case of Carl De Brody. Sherry Paolo was sentenced this morning at the federal courthouse in Jefferson City to more than 17 years in prison. She was convicted of failing to provide medical care that resulted in injury or death and of health care fraud. Investigators found the body of Carl De Brody encased in concrete inside of a Fulton storage unit in 2017. According to court documents, he likely died sometime in 2016. Former prosecutor Bill Tackett says sentences in cases like this one usually come down to federal guidance. Judges at the federal level have sentencing guidelines and they're very specific and they're plugged in to a grid and then based on the answers to those questions on the, the guidelines, then the sentence is spewed out. Family and a former guardian were all glad that justice was served for Carl De Brody. But one thing that Mary Martin, a former guardian, told me today after the sentencing was this didn't have to happen. His life shouldn't have ended like this. I don't want to think about this. I want to think about the good times. The, the good times. Mary Martin, a former guardian of Carl De Brody, said she's glad that Sherry Paula will spend the maximum time in prison that she could, but said Carl didn't deserve this kind of ending. As many described, he had a difficult upbringing. In 2014, Carl De Brody struggled to maintain a healthy weight. In 2015, Paula was accused of not giving him his prescribed health supplements. Investigators say Paulo took De Brody and his housemate out of second chance, the group home they were at, to Paulo's home, where they stayed in her basement, or as investigators call it a jail cell. De Brody reportedly started to howl one night. That's when Paolo and Flores and another housemate brought De Brody upstairs and put him under running water. De Brody ended up dying in the bathtub. Paolo admitted to not trying to resuscitate De Brody or even call an ambulance. After several days in the bathtub, both Flores men and the housemate put De Brody in a box, which was then put inside a trash can and then moved to Paolo's storage unit sometime in September or October of 2016. And then I start thinking of all the suffering that he went through. Now we can just think, you know, once this is done, we will think about the fun times that we had. Deborah and I were both in court today when Judge Brian Wimes called this situation, quote, one of the most deplorable, depraved, and disturbing cases. He called what happened to DeBrody murder on the part of Paulo. The judge also said people with disabilities are some of the society's most vulnerable and in need of protection. He said to Paulo directly, quote, the problem is that he had the misfortune of being placed with you. He also went on to say that he wanted to protect the community from her specifically. Wimes' sentence brought about a lot of tears with Martin as well as DeBrody's aunt and half-brother crying during the hearing. His aunt Carol Sampson said in court, the days of Carl being reported missing were like a nightmare. She called for the maximum sentences for all defendants in the case.